Hello everyone, welcome to Whitby Guernsey Knit. It is episode 13, week 14 of knitting a, a Guernsey for my brother-in-law's birthday. And the good news is I have finished the Guernsey. I had to have it finished by the Friday if I wanted to give him it for in time for his birthday. And I actually finished on the Thursday morning. Uh, every opportunity this past week I have just been racing into the into the lounge and knitting around at a time in any spare time I had and it was finally finished on the Thursday I messaged my sister um, to tell her I finished it I finally finished it I had to tell someone <laughs> she was the one I had to message so um, I did that. I'm going to pause the video now and then I'll talk to you uh, in a little while and just show you the final finishing of the sleeve. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right at the very end, what right up there. I don't think I've taken that stitch over the other one. Right, final. That just shows how much of a trial it has been. <laughs> final stitch. Snap off my yarn. Thread through. And there we have it there we have it right just to check everything and do a little bit of sewing up okay so that was the final um, part of the sleeve and the cast off I actually recorded it uh, speeded that up because it took me just about 15 minutes all in all to do the final knitting of the final round and the casting off so it has it, it that even took quite a while um and it was ironic that i went wrong <laughs> on the last very last stitch so i have just recorded another little bit of the sewing up not all of it but i'll just put that in now for you So I'm just going to run this thread in 
then out just for a few through a few stitches Same here. What a nice feeling. <laughs> another one done what else have I got to do the neck I'm just going to double check whether that's the neck is wide enough so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to I'm not going to take that uh, run that's that along so that if I need to pull it out and cast off slacker I can do so I'll leave that one on and then the only thing left to do is the bottom of the welts. So I shall do that and come back to you. So that was the sewing in which hardly took any time at all. It was easy. That's because they didn't really do any um, joining. It was all done in, done in one. So it was just where I'd started at the welts and finished the sleeves and the neckline which actually did fit in the end so that was okay the next part was the blocking um, obviously I didn't have time to wash the Guernsey at all I was really concerned about the, the line running right down the middle which I do think will come out when it has been washed so I looked up how to steam block it was just steaming really just simple um, but I've included that so I'll put that I recorded that so I'll put that in now and then get back to you again. Okay I'm ready for blocking um, but I'm going to do a steam block. Well, I'm going to attempt to get to do a steam block and the reason why the sizing is okay but can you see this line here? That's where I change from one needle to another. So I'm just going to see if I can steam that out. Right, I'll get ready. Smell the wool. Oh, that's really good. Ooh, I'm very pleased with that. Right, I'll just I'm just going to do it like this is on it. This is the right thing, but it's working. So that's fine. So I'm going to now turn the Guernsey over and I'll do the middle of the back 
call the front whichever. I don't actually think there's a front or a back, they're both exactly the same. So I hope you I hope you can see what I'm doing. Right. Put the pins back in. And turn over. Definitely see, you can definitely see down there. Okay, and if you can see, you definitely can. So, take this on. I actually sprayed. I don't really use a <laughs> Don't really use a stick. Steam on the iron. Now there we go. Just wet that. Put that out. What is that? Just a stitch. Right. Off we go again. bothering with the sleeves much because they look absolutely fine and I haven't pinned this side because really it was to get that needle change mark out and I think that's the best I'm going to do but I am much happier with that much happier Right, onto the dummy, the dressmaker's dummy, so you can see. So that was the blocking. So then I went and I put it on my dressmaker's dummy. So I hope you can see it really clearly. Um, so I'll put that little piece in now and then I'll talk to you about um, my likes and my dislikes and the final ending really. And here we have the finished Guernsey. It's not ideal being on this dressmaker's dummy, but it's better than nothing. I'll see if my brother-in-law um, will do a fashion show. <laughs> Whether he will or not, I don't know. But it's better than nothing. So I am really pleased with it. In the end, you can still see where I've changed over from one needle to another. But that might come out when it gets washed and stretched. I really like the shoulder, that shoulder seam. There. So there we go, completed. So the Guernsey is completed. And um, the last photo you saw was all the things that I used to, as, um, to actually aid me with knitting the Guernsey. So move on to the last little bit uh, just looking down at my notes and I thought I'd do a, um, a likes and dislikes and I've been really truly honest with myself and I thought what did I enjoy doing the Guernsey? No I didn't enjoy doing the Guernsey. Um, I didn't like a the wool because it was really coarse. Um, I kept losing stitches all the time because the needles are so fine and as it 
even as I was knitting, I would slip one off and then it would fall all the way down and that happened just about every single round. What um, didn't help me was the fact that it was it's winter and um, the light level is really low, navy blue wool, so that, that was difficult. If it had been a better time of the year, that might have been a little bit better if I'd have had more daylight. Um, so those loops kept falling off the needle. That was the main, that was the main dislike. And stabbing myself, and because the needles are so sharp, really sharp, they're my mum, my mum's, and they're not too bad, they're kind of rounded. But these are so, so sharp. Um, and they just, they kept sticking in my finger and making my finger bleed. So I didn't enjoy those things. Um, and I don't like that I've got a centre seam that might come out with the wash. And it did look a bit better after I'd um, steamed it. Um, other than that, my likes. So I really liked designing the pattern. And... Um, Although I had that sheet, well, I kept putting sheets of squared paper together to do the whole uh, amount of stitches to make sure everything was in the centre. I really enjoyed doing that and working out the maths. That that, that was an enjoyable thing. Um, I enjoyed researching and visiting the museum and talking to people about the history of the Guernsey. That was really, really enjoyable. I enjoyed taking videos around Whitby to show you um, and actually learning some things myself from various plaques that were around Whitby. I really like, enjoyed doing that. I liked your comments and quite a lot of the, those comments um, from two people in particular, I think it was Lynn and Sue, um, kept me going as well. So that was, um, that was really nice. Um, and most of all, I enjoyed knitting it for uh, that the special 65th birthday present for my brother-in-law because I know he will really appreciate uh, appreciate that. And so it makes all the work and time worthwhile. And he did appreciate it. So I'm, I'm going to end now um, because that that's it now. But I'm going to end with a photo of my brother-in-law wearing it. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has uh, watched my videos and commented really positively. So thank you all very much. And I might see you again one day. <laughs>